Alright, I'm going to try to make a video concerning installing the Torque Pro app on your phone or tablet. This is a 7 inch tablet. First thing you want to do is go to your Play Store. Search. Put in Torque Pro. This right here. OBD check. It's a little motor. Is what you want to click on. I've already had Torque Pro on this tablet. So it it's not going to charge me for it because I've already had it. I just deleted it and now I'm installing it again. But you'll want the Torque Pro cost $4.95. Now I'm going to install it. Accept. Now it's downloading. You gotta have a internet connection in order to do this. It's successfully installed. I don't normally use this tablet, that's why I don't know how to work the damn thing. I'll get out of here. Go to. Now I gotta find it. <laughs> Where is it? Put this on my home page. No, I'm not. I never use this thing until I work it. Okay, once you get it installed, you click on Torque Pro. <clears throat> now, some things would you like to enable GPS? No, we'll get rid of that here in a minute. <clears throat> Apparently it saved my uh, profile. Some Android devices, you uh, this is your home button, menu button, this is go back button. Most of the time, you'd hit that button for your menu, but not on this one. Here like that okay go to settings general preferences See anything there we need to mess with? Units. Use miles instead of kilometers. Check that. If you want to use miles, if you use kilometers, if you're in Canada, then you would not check it. Use Celsius. No, I don't want to use Celsius. Use feet. Yes, I want to use feet. Use kilograms. No, everything defaults to the metric system, I believe. Use PSI. Check. Don't display PSI as in. Yep, uncheck that. Use Newton meters instead of foot pounds. No, I want to use foot pounds. Use gallons. Yes. US gallons for me. Yes. Use cubic feet per minute. Yes. 12 hour clock. Yes. So you may have to make these changes depending on where you're at. Okay, we'll go back. <coughs> that was units. OBD2 adapter settings. If you want the your adapter to come on automatically when you open Torque Pro, click keep oops, keep that check. Faster communication. Yes. 
don't calculate mile per gallon in fuel. If you tick that, even though you may not be calculating your fuel mileage or whatever on here, it'll be doing it in the background. So rather than it be spending time and energy doing that, just check it and then uh, it will be quicker on your other sensors. Nothing else there. You'll want to go to manage extra PID sensors. Of course, this is for the Ford 6.0 Power Strobe diesel engine specifically. What I'm doing this for, but some of this stuff will apply to uh, whatever in engine you're using it on. See, a lot of this stuff is already in here because I already had this installed. But once you get to here, you either click your menu button on your Android device, but on this particular one, I click here. Add predefined set. Ford, including power stroke. That adds any extra gauges, PIDs that would apply to the Ford power stroke motor. So it has installed that. We go back. Some of this other stuff we will be looking at later. That's all for now. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to add some gauges. Go to real time information. These are just some of the things I have installed in there. I'll be darn it, saved everything I had in here. Okay. We'll go to a, say you go to a blank spot and you want to start. I just noticed this is getting fuzzy. Press on the screen. Add display. using the half dial needle myself I'm just going to pick something here I'm going to say boost I ask you what size you want I'm going to choose medium once you have the gauge on here it's kind of highlighted in blue you can immediately put it wherever you want it Hold it down, put it where you want. Okay, well I put it there, now I decide I want it over here. Hold it. Move display. It'll highlight it again. Put it over there. Well it's called map. I don't want it called map, I want it called boost. Hold it down. Display configuration, change title. It's called map. I want to get rid of that. I'm going to call it boost. Okay, now it's called boost. <coughs> the default is 0 to 30 psi. Well, let's say I want to change that. Display configuration. Set maximum value. Remember it's set for 30 right now. Well, I want it to read 35. Now it reads 35. Hopefully you're able to see this. Okay. I want another gauge. Add display. Half dial needle. It's just my preference. Some of this we're going to have to do in the truck because these are not highlighted when you're... I'll explain that later. But.
What else can I do with this? Let's say I decided I didn't want that gauge. Delete it. It's gone. Add display. Half dial needle. Do this again. Boost. Forward specific. Medium. Actually. Display configuration, change size, okay, I'll make it larger so maybe you can see it. There we go. <clears throat> One thing I like about this gauge is that from the time you start your vehicle up, it will show the lowest value that it's recorded and the highest. So that way you don't have to stare at it all the time, it'll, you'll have your highest and lowest that it's recorded. If you want to make any changes, just hold on the gauge, tap it. What else? That's really about it for right now. I'm going to make another video and I go out in the truck where I can add some of the gauges specific to the Ford 6.0. I believe I've covered everything for the most part. I think here. This vehicle profile. I don't even think you need it unless you're calculating your mileage per gallon, but my experience has been it's not accurate anyway, so you can fill one of these out if you want to, but I don't I don't think you need to, but like I said on this version my settings button is there on uh, this is a tablet I normally use and my home button is here and then instead of having that little settings button here I don't have it on here. I don't understand why, but my settings button is right here. You hit that, settings, and there's the same things over here. So depending on what Android device you're using, you might have different ways of getting into your settings. So you can read fault codes. It's not going to do anything because it's not hooked up to the OBD adapter. That's where you get that. Alright, well that's it for now.